Hey, Sean. Oh, yeah. Nice tilapia. They are out there, guys. If you catch any running water coming into a lake, that's where you want to throw. Throw into that current. They are packed in up there. Nice one. How you hooked, how you hooked. Oh, it's a nice slabber. Come on up here. Oh, yeah. You down with TTT. <laughs> Okay guys, Teacher Thomas Thailand bringing you another exciting fishing video. This is Nam Pon. <laughs> Nam Pon, like uh, Nam Tok or, or uh, the rain. Yeah, the rain. Her name is Rain in English. Chai Mai? Okay guys, 80 baht for the uh, fee for fishing. They have fishing gear here. If you uh, don't have your own gear, so you can, uh, you can use gear from here. I brought my own gear, my own bait, everything. They also have drinks and everything for sale. And you saw the hotel and uh, all the beautiful rooms that you could stay in. This is your check-in station. So I'm just coming to fish today, 80 baht, and that includes one kilo, noon kilo, chai mai? Okay, so that gives me the fishing fee and one free kilo of fish included. All right, thank you very much, rain. I like to use a slip. A slip bullet weight there you can see that's just going to slip up the line and i tie on a smaller weight just use a uh, square knot for that so that you don't pinch anywhere and, and damage the line when you tie on a weight and then we have a five aught five aught circle hook okay now you can get a uh, leader here in thailand but usually have to rig it yourself because most of the leaders come with small hooks already on them it's hard to find leaders that are that have these bigger hooks for big game but again we're going for catfish i'm using 20 pound monofilament uh so in that you know that makes the strength of it really to where you could get a you know a 40 pound fish in if you fight it right and got your drag set correct so that's that's basically the rig up guys that's what we're doing all right let's get some bait comes to big game fish especially the large silver catfish here in thailand go big or go home on your bait what i'm going to start out with is some chicken liver and chicken gizzards i keep all of the uh gizzards and liver and chicken entrails in one bag together so that they kind of absorb some of the liver the liver is the one that's going to put off the most scent so i put the uh, liver on here first and then i start hooking the gizzard and kind of wrap it around the liver hoping to uh to keep the liver on there i've got frogs over there i've got shrimp over there i've got some small uh crabs sea crabs the little small ones so i've got a lot of different styles of bait we're going to start with the liver all right let's see if we can get this out there it's been a while since i had the big rod out so uh we're hoping it performs okay i kind of cleaned it up and and uh and put the uh wd-40 to it so let's see if we can get out there in deep part of the lake Watch your back blast area. 
here we go. I'd say that would have to be the center. So, one pull and lots of patience, right? Don't move it. If they're not biting it, just keep letting it sit there. Sometimes you'll get a lot of small bites, the small fish coming and pecking at that big chunk of bait. Just keep waiting on old big boy to show up, okay? All right, guys, let's see what we get. It's a toll on the reel here because them things can hit strong and take your whole rod and reel if you ain't careful. So I really like using the rail. It gives plenty of time for me to react to the bite. There's a bite right there. And I've got a little spot down here. It's kind of treacherous, but this is where I'm hoping to land if I get a big one on. So I've got one net stationed down there. I've got my other net over here and my other rod over here to do some tilapia fishing later on. But right now, I'm just going to sit back, eat some breakfast. I got some uh, pork on a stick and some sticky rice. And I'm just going to watch this one pole. See how it goes. Use one of these clip-on bells on your rod. If you don't want to just keep your eye on it, right? You'll, you'll hear. I'm not crazy about them, especially if I'm you know just kicking back and and uh keeping an eye on the rod but beautiful day here guys hopefully we'll get some uh some good action hopefully old big boy will come and pick up the whole thing right and just slam it. it'll just be a pole bender if you get a good one so ignore all the small little nibbles and stuff don't get excited just keep waiting i'm set up here i've got a roof over me if the rain comes it was raining earlier this morning now we have a little bit of clear sky, but a lot of rain clouds in the in the area. So, yeah, just going to sit here and chill out, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Could take an hour to catch a, a big one. You just got to be patient. Yin got me some frogs that they, they eat here in Thailand. Bought them at the market. I've never fished with a frog in Thailand. So let's uh, let's try this on this smaller rod. It's, it's a freemium rod, perfect for uh, tilapia or panfish. I've never tried frogs, so let's let's throw a frog out there and see what happens. May be a mistake trying to fish with two because if I get that big one on, I don't want to miss him. First frog I've ever fished with in Thailand right there. Action there on the first try. I'm gonna try to get a little closer to the bank. We got a lot of fresh water in. Oh yeah. Frog just jumped in. I think there are uh, snakehead fish in here too, for those of you who don't know. Snakehead look like catfish with scales, but they're actually more like a bass. They're a very sporty, gamey fish. They uh, attack lures, top water, stuff like that. Snakehead is uh, very expensive at the restaurants. Very expensive fish to eat. Be nice to get one of those. I've never caught one out here, but I'm sure they're in here if not stocked, just naturally brought in by waterfowl and stuff, you know. We've had a few more bites. Oh, oh, oh. there goes a big bite on the gizzard. Come on, baby, get serious. I mean, I've had some pole benders out here. I lost a big catfish last time I was fishing out here and didn't even get it on film. Wasn't filming that day, but. Lost a big one right at the bank. Huge old silver cat. They're in here for sure. Yeah, it feels like maybe the little ones. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We got a fish of some kind. Been sitting down there with it. What do we got? Ah, we got a, we had a small tilapia or something on our, on our big bait. <laughs> All right. That's not what we're looking for on this rod. See that gizzard's still on there good. Got gizzard off of there. I'm gonna switch it up. I got some shrimp and sea crab on there. Let's try that. Oh, 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 bite on the frog. Nothing serious. All right, let's try some seafood. Shrimp and sea crabs. I'm gonna try a little different spot. I went out far distance this time I'm gonna to go to the left a little bit that's got to be a deep hole which is what we want for the big boys nice big slab tilapia on this here 
tree. Whoa, hello tree. Didn't realize I was that tall. <laughs> Got you guys on top of my head, so it makes me quite a bit taller. Oh, missed him. Waiting on uh, big boy Whiskers to come get our sea crab. I'm just going to leave it sitting. One thing that's good about it, we're not getting any small bites on the sea crab. So that's a good sign. Longer it sits there, the better. Guarantee our first fish right here, guys. Nice slab tilapia coming up on this cast. Uh, yeah, might want to turn my bell over. Coming up on this cast. <laughs> yep. That's a tilapia right there. Still waiting on old Whiskers. He's there. Playing with it. Come on, baby. Go for it. Oh, slacking it up. Fish on. Fish on. First fish of the day. Nice. Yeah. <sighs> I love the tilapia fishing, really do. It'll keep you busy. Like I say, I think the most I've ever cut out here is 25 in one day. It's not the biggest slabber, but it's a good eater. Oh yeah, healthy looking. Healthy looking tilapia. Come here, first fish of the day. Oh yeah, nothing wrong with that, guys. Nothing wrong with that. That baby, ain't you pretty? All right, come on, Whiskers. No action on the sea crab. Those are probably actually a lot better bait to, to use some uh, beach fishing at the sea. So we went back with some chicken lever. We got chicken heart. We got a chunk of beef on there that I had left over from breakfast. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a piece of chicken fat on there too. Try to get everything kind of in small pieces where so we're gonna throw a combo and hope for a catfish, guys. That's a big chunk of bait. All right, see what happens, guys. I put away the tilapia rig. I really just wanna chill out and try to get us a big fish, see what happens. Very quick bite on that rig, the liver and chicken, but not pole bender. I think we're getting too many tilapia playing around with our big baits, guys. Go, baby, go. Eat it, swallow it. You know you want it all to yourself. If your mouth is big enough. Ah, small fish, guys. A little cow meow. County Al, sticky rice. Mmm. Meat on a stick. This looks like a bigger, bigger fish here, maybe, guys. Do a lot of heavy bouncing with the line. Come on, baby. Be a runner. Be a runner. I haven't even been doing any tilapia fishing, really just focusing on one rod with a big chunk of bait, hoping for whiskers. Yeah, a little tap tap. Yeah, that's not a big fish, guys. Not what we're looking for. Something hit the gizzard den. Come on, baby. Be a catfish. He's not there. Give me a pole bender or nothing. Oh, see that? Boom, 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 boom. Eat it or I'm not even going to mess with you. Come on. Yeah. Tilapia. The catfish can sense when another fish is eating, right? They, they put off sound. They put off sensory when they're, when they're pecking on something like that. You know, catfish come along. He's going to take that right away from him. And uh, when he does, it'll be... But it ain't old whiskers. It's exactly what I thought. Good size tilapia though. That's not what we want on this big old ride. We'll take it. I'll try a fresh piece of gizzard. Oh yeah, it's a nice tilapia. 
Nothing wrong with him. Nothing wrong with him at all. What are you doing with that? What are you doing with that gizzard, huh? You like gizzards, do you? That big old hook. Oh, nice slabber. Nice slabber, guys. They will get you. You gotta be careful. Got some sharp fins. Nice one. Whoo! Sorry, baby. Hey, calm down. Chai Yin Yin. There we go. Piece of gizzard and liver on there. Big chunk. I want to go over here by the dock. Throw it out. Huh? So those tilapia are really tearing up that gizzard too. So we should be waking up Mr. Whiskers at some point, I would think. Action on the fresh liver and gizzard. Look at all the slack we got. I tell you what, these tilapia are so hungry today. There are some big old tilapias in here. That's not what we're looking for. Uh, feeding a lot of very hungry tilapia out there. We're feeding them chicken gizzard and liver, but that gizzard is not going to come off the hook. So if it is a tilapia, he might hook himself just playing around with it. Or he might just hit a little bit and then go away and let the big catfish come in. So we're close out in front of those pillars there, that old dock. Still about the center of the lake, even though it's a shorter cast. Pretty much straight down there. Rain moving in now, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the, the time fishing, even though we've only caught two tilapia. We could have a ton of tilapia right now if we wanted to, but I think old man Whisker's going to wake up with these dark clouds rolling in, and we have shelter. You see our shelter over here, right? So uh, we're going to stick with it. Stay tuned, guys. See if we get old Whiskers. Keep getting a lot of tilapia just tearing up our liver and gizzards. So Yen got me these frogs at the market. To, that should land down there belly up. And uh, hopefully the tilapia will leave it alone. And I guarantee you Mr. Catfish will eat a frog. Caught myself plenty of catfish over the years on a frog. So we're going back out to the middle of the lake. And we'll see what Yen Radi's frog does for us nam yin's frogs from the market those are bought uh on ice guys so no cruelty to uh any bait has occurred all of our bait is uh dead already might just be the key to us getting the catfish guys because so far it's been uh about 10 minutes no tilapia are bothering the frog so the longer it sits there and that scent carries Oh, Mr. Whiskers might be frog hungry. That's what we're hoping. All right, let's get back some quick tilapia action here. Whoa. Might want to turn your bell open. I know you're in there. It's on. He's on. That wasn't bad, was it? Not a big one, but I don't think. Just now started fighting. Yeah, it's a pretty good slab. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with that. All right, that's some quick action in here, guys. Come here, beautiful. Oh, yeah, slabber. Slabber dabber. We got a bite on the frog. Come on, be a pole bender. Just pecking at it. Whoa, here it comes, guys. Here it comes. Rainy day of fishing. Let's move our tilapia rig over here out of the rain, shall we? Uh, come on, pole bender on the frog. Oh yeah, yeah, something's pretty, pretty strong hitting that frog. Do that again, do that again, I'm coming your way. Something's definitely hitting a frog, guys. Fishing in the rain while setting under the shed. I love me some Thai fishing resorts. 
Going for tilapia. Going for big whiskers. We have tilapia. We don't have big whiskers. Fishing in the rain. Hi ho, Mario. We're fishing in the rain. Waiting for old big catfish whiskers over here. Doing a little tilapia action over here. Better be quick because I don't like standing in the rain. Come on, fish. Oh, pole bender. Pole bender on the frog. Oh, pole bender over here. Oh my God, heavy rain. Oh my God, what are we going to do? Oh, we're going to stick with the big, big pole with the frog. Let Mr. Tilapia do his thing out there. He's hitting it for sure. Oh, I just saw a big fish. We had a good hit on the frog, guys. Need something to kind of set the pole on over here. Back the line up a little bit. There we go. We're out of the rain. Truck's closed up. Oh! Nice! Got a fish going out there. And we have ourselves a monsoon. But we are in the dry. Waiting on old man catfish. Where you at, Mr. Whiskers? What kind of fisherman doesn't bring a raincoat with him? <laughs> They're running off into the lake, that little stream it's making. Put that frog right in there. Yeah. Come on, catfish. Getting a bite on the frog here. About ready to put a hunk of chicken liver out there. Rain's starting to let up a little bit. Let's, let's reset. We got some fresh water runoff coming out of this pipe. Rain water right here. We're gonna fish right in that current with some shrimp. Oh yeah. See what happens there, guys. Yeah. Fish on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You got a fish. Nice tilapia. I can drag a skier in here. Skiing it in. Oh yeah. Nice. We're wanting to catfish, but we will take the tilapias while they're hot. Get on up here. Nice one guys. That makes about five big slavers. Big slavers. Got some fast tilapia action over here in this current guys. Right in that current. We might end up catching, hooking a big old catfish on this ultralight. Too far inside. Call that one a balk. Right in there. That's where we wanna be. How's the lens, how's the lens? Got water on the lens? Kind of kept it pointed downwards, so try to avoid that. That should be a honey hole for tilapia right there, guys. Picked it up. Oh, did I get him? A small one, a little small one. That's all right. We can throw him back. He's still strong. Lots of fish gathered up in that fresh rainwater coming in, guys. Lots of fish. Oh, need another piece of shrimp. What a fun day, man. What a fun day. 
and put this tail on here. Leave the tail on, worm it on there like that. Let's get a bigger one this time now. Come on. Last action tilapia. Right on the edge of that current. Probably be good. The bank with this current right in yonder. Well, that should be perfect. That should be a fast bite there, guys. Come on, Frogger. Old man Whistler's gonna find you out there. I hope. Yeah, we got action already. Tilapia, tilapia. Giving us slack. There she goes. Fish on. Fish on. Oh yeah. Fish on. Nice. That's fast action there, guys. Fishing in the rain. I love fishing in the rain. Come on up here, baby. How you hooked? Oh, she's on there. Nice. Nice slabber. Do some more. Waiting on a catfish. I tell you what, I'm gonna see if I can't switch up and put some liver on. You know, I put a big old chunk of liver and chicken heart on there. Threw it out there at the edge of the current coming into the lake. Hopefully that'll get Mr. Whiskers. Or the tilapia might just tear the liver up. Meanwhile, back over here in our tilapia hole, well, they are biting quickly. We are set, guys. Ah, something hitting that liver. What we want is just to, you know, I mean, hurry your ass up and get to the rod because, and I've hooked them over here before and I didn't have my big rod and fought huge silver cats and almost got them into the bank and lost them, you know. So today I come all set up, got the proper hook, the proper gear, and I'm not getting the silver cats, but not yet anyway. Getting tilapia though. Tilapia. Oh! Hooked him and he come off. Didn't we get the catfish on this little ultralight? Because we are throwing in fresh current. And uh, everybody knows a catfish will eat a piece of shrimp for sure. So We want him on that rod. <laughs> we might end up getting hit. We got a hit already on tilapia or something. Oh yeah, nice tilapia. They are out there, guys. If you catch any running water coming into a lake, that's where you want to throw. Throw into that current. They are packed in up there. Nice one. How you hooked, how you hooked. Oh, it's this nice slabber. Come on up here. Oh yeah. Another nice one, guys. Okay, I think I'm gonna slow down on the tilapia. Put this pole away and focus on Mr. Whiskers. Chicken liver and gizzards and hearts and I got frogs and crabs and shrimp. Keep it in a Tupperware. Come on, Mr. Whiskers. 10.41 in the a.m. now. Uh, we're getting bites on the big hunk of liver and chicken gizzards, but it looks like it's just tilapia messing with it. No big pole benders yet, unfortunately. But now that the rain's calming down, I thought I'd go back and try another shot at some tilapia action. Kind of slowed down now, but they're still piled up in there, I guarantee you. See, he's hit it already. That's how fast. That's how fast they'll pit, they'll find it. They are piled up in there. At least they're not like tearing the liver up. The longer that liver sits there, the more likely we will get a catfish. They're in here. Fish on. Yep. Fish on. Them tilapia are just piled in there, guys. Rainy day fishing in Thailand. 
They're good eating. Very good brim species. And obviously very healthy and strong. Look at that. Run with it, baby. Nice slabber dabber. Huh? What's wrong with that? Aren't they beautiful? Absolutely beautiful fish. Absolutely gorgeous. Warm water brim species. On the uh, liver, had some slack and took it. Come on, pole bender. It looked like it was a catfish. I mean, just kind of a woo. And a, come on, baby, come back to it. I think it's just a tilapia, guys. He's hitting it a lot now slacking it up but he ain't no pole bender what are you doing on my liver and gizzard huh still got bait on there still got bait another chunk of shrimp yeah rain stop now Michonne, that is quick, is it not? Where you going, sweetie? Another nice one. Whoa, yeah. On the ultralight, they're good fighters. Where's Mr. Whiskers? Didn't even know it. Been sitting there, another tilapia on the liver. <laughs> no wonder I ain't catching no catfish. That's not what I want. Oh, she's nice and though. Okay, that's enough tilapia. Let's try. Let's try something different. Big old chunk. It's got chicken heart. Chicken liver, chicken bow, big old chunk. Way out there in the middle, away from the tilapia, hopefully. Come on, Mr. Whiskers. I think I got a white catfish spotted right in here. Yeah, that's a white cat right there. Not a big one, but a little piece of liver at him. You see him in there? You're swimming around. Whatever came right off. Something. Oh, oh, oh. There he is. There he is. It's time for you to pull me. That didn't look like a tilapia. That looked like something had some weight behind it. Whew. Yeah, there's a silver cat swimming around down in there. You guys seeing that fish right there? I know you don't have the narrow angle, but it uh, looks like a about a one pound white cat to me. There he goes, there he goes. Ah, little tilapia. I want you. Little white cat, yeah, maybe more than one. There's catfish right there. Oh, speaking of catfish. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, be a catfish.
Not a pole bender, but a pretty hard bite for dang sure. Something, something wants to eat that. Doesn't feel like a tilapia. <laughs> Still feel the bait on there for sure. So. There are catfish swimming right underneath me over here, though. Ooh, 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 there you go, there you go. Come on, come on, hammer. That all you got? Whoa. A little tilapia on the small rod there. The fish are just so hungry. Ah, missed him. We'll set aside. I think they got the bait off on it on that last deal. There's some catfish working right in here. If I can keep the tilapia off of it. Uh, it's just a little tilapia, isn't it? I'm gonna get a tilapia, I don't want a little one. Go over here, get a slabber. Whoa. Slabber on the bank. Yeah. Fish on. Oh yeah. Nice one. Come here, baby. Swim to me, little fishy. Nice one. Healthy. Fish on. That's it for the tilapia fishing. I'm all set for catfish, and catfish it will be. Muggy with thunder in the distance after the heavy rains. Should be perfect, guys. Keep your fingers crossed. We'll get old man whiskers. And this small fish will leave that hunk of beautiful bait alone. That's what we're hoping for. Just let it sit. Mr. Whiskers will find it if you don't pack it all off. Actually, something found it already. And I don't think it's a catfish. There's a lot of tilapia out there. Somebody in the comment section said, hey, why don't you throw it next to one of those pillars? Yeah. Still got plenty of hearts. Very quickly, something took quite a bit of our bait. But... All right. There you go, commenter. We're out in front of the pillars. Got to keep trying spots, right? Trying some different spots. Right down in front of those pillars. Oh shit! Damn, we had him guys. Look at that bubble out there. Look at that. We had the catfish snap my damn line. Oh, I must have had a bad spot in the line. Holy shit, we had him. Look at that. Okay, some of that line's coming off her. We're going back after him. That was a monster. As we found Mr. Whiskers, he's over here in front of those poles, in front of those pillars. We got two chicken hearts and a big old piece of chicken gizzard on there. No ties in the line, just one little slip weight. I cut a lot of the bad line off. So uh, that was the uh, pole bender we were looking for. He was running with it and uh, must have had a bad spot in the line. I'm going to loosen my drag a little bit here. A little tighter now. All right. So, I think we're going to get Mr. Whiskers now, guys. A little 
far I'm gonna pull it pull it in up to near those pillars right in there let it drop that was him for sure guys there was no bouncing it no no bites beforehand just picked it up and went and absolutely snapped my line we're ready for him now and now the damn tilapia have found it over there by the pillars after that big huge catfish now we're playing around oh wait a minute maybe something maybe something maybe something here guys I believe we've got a fish now guys oh don't get no steps oh we got a tilapia hook sideways whoa big slab tilapia hook sideways well thought it was a big catfish big old big old tilapia well that was a big tilapia but still not we want what we want that's what we want pole bender we have enough tilapia we get the tilapia to leave it alone tilapia have found the spot where we want to set our liver keep the tilapia from eating it and we'd probably get the catfish catfish let's try getting a little bit further out away from the pillars there right there come on catfish not the pole bender we just can't get the tilapia to leave it alone long enough to get that pole bender in there again try something different here Flip it underneath there. Too little. You ain't no catfish. I've tried throwing in a lot of different spots, guys. I just can't keep the tilapia away from it. Look at that. Little bitty tilapia. As it's almost high noon, I wasn't able to get Mr. Catfish. Had my line broken, uh, should have checked, you know, made sure I didn't have a bad spot in the line, but we'll get him next time. Let's close it out with one more fast action on the tilapia. Seems like the problem is with the big old chunk of liver and gizzard, there's too many tilapia, they outnumber the catfish and they're finding it way before the catfish does. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the fishing video. The tilapia are excellent to eat. So I want to get one of those silver cats and show you some of them are really large in here. But uh, only had the one pole bender and uh, when I set the hook, snapped the line. So one more tilapia for the road. Hey, Sean. There it is, guys. Last one for the day. Nice one. Thanks for watching. Peace and love to everyone. Oh yeah. Nice. How you hooked? Oh, she's hooked deep. Nice. All right, guys. See you on the next video. Warm water brim in Thailand. Alright guys, she's going to weigh them up, so in addition to the 80 bot, which includes one free kilo, uh, you pay an additional 80 bot for each extra kilo. One, two, 
Dozen, even dozen. Back. Wait. Huh? So we got a dozen fish. We will see how many kilos they weigh. They're beautiful. Oh. Jet kilo. Seventy. Free one kilo. Oh, free one kilo. Okay, so I pay you for six. six. Okay, six times. That's it, Bob. Hope times that's it, Bob. Six. Good. Four hundred eighty. So less than less than fifteen dollars, guys, for all those fish. And I got one free kilo with the eight first eighty bots. So. Yeah. Any hot oil? Hot oil, good eye. I'll stop real quick and get them on ice. Could do it. Take my big towel, put it over the top. Okay. Easiest pie, guys. Just pull right in here. They weigh them up for you. So we had a total of 12 tilapia, which is seven kilo. Already paid for one kilo with the first 80 pot. So total for today, 580 baht. I'll do the conversion on that. So you can see how much that is, 580 baht for 12 fish and all the fun catching them. We, okay, cop home. Thank you very much. You're welcome. See you next time. Okay. Okay, thank you. All right, guys, let's go to the house. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Triple T, your humble host, has a playlist on the channel called Fishing in Thailand. Quite a few videos on there. If you like the fishing videos, you can just watch that playlist. It goes back over four years. Did some nice red fishing in there too. So different species and there's going to be more videos coming. We are going to be fishing in the ocean here off the coast of Rayong. I have a captain of a ship now, so we got that all worked out. So stay tuned if you like the fishing videos. These fish have been scaled by Nam Yin and they were on ice and really really cold when she scaled them and now they've been soaking in salt water for about an hour and i'm getting ready to take out the innards so if you're not into that kind of video you can click away now
Jake, you silly boy, you like the fish flavor, don't you? All right, guys, that's it. So they're in salt water right now. They'll go directly into the fridge with the lid on, get cold, and then they'll come out and get another wash before they go into the baggies. Thanks for watching, guys. Triple T, your humble host, Teacher Thomas, Thailand, YouTube, and playlist right here at the end of the video, right there. Watch the fishing videos. If you enjoyed this one, they're only going to get better and better and better. Fishing with Triple T. Peace and love to everyone. I'm out.